fuck these bitches. I swear I care about everything but these bitches. Well, I showed my true misogynist colors again today. I was going into McDonald's and I got to the door right before an elderly woman got to the door. And not only did I open it, I stood back and let her walk out first. You know, it's one thing to watch society fall apart around you, but it's another thing to take an active hand in it. Why? Why did I have to take away that woman's power? I know what you're going to say, but Sparky, that was just the courteous thing to do. No, it was sexist and ageist. Do you not listen to feminists? And I am a disgusting human being because of it. Hey everyone, um, so this week we're talking about women and protest. Oh, more me, me, me. Um, and I think I want to talk about sort of two separate things. There's, um, there's women in protests um, that are outside of feminism and there are women in feminist protests. Um, and so I think my main point about um, women in protests outside of feminism um, is that they tend to be ignored and disregarded and sort of othered um, by, especially by men within the protest. Oh, shit. There's probably a curveball there. You normally like to wait to the middle of your video to start making shit up. But I do like the change of pace. Continue. Um, or the movement. Um, and I think it makes it sort of very difficult for um, women to feel like they're actually making a difference um, in protests and stuff when it's kind of, they're so sort of shoved to one side a lot. Um, I think that women in protests tend to be really easy to ignore. Um, you know, unless it is specifically a protest for women, um, because men are the sort of invisible standard, um, and so when you see a protest, you don't sort of see the women in it, you kind of just see protests. You got examples to back up what you're saying? Because I can think of a few examples to counter it. Oh, look at these poor unseen women. Nobody cares what they have to say. Want some more? Yet yeah, more women that can't be seen. I got some more. You know what? I'm kind of glad you were so wrong about this. So you said women are ignored unless the protest is for women's issues. Can you say thoroughly refuting? Um, which means that a lot of women's issues within um, protests kind of get really ignored. Um, I'm sorry, what women's issues could there be in a God Hates Fags protest? I would like the fact. Do you even know what a fact is? The, um, Women in protests are especially at risk from um, sort of sexual violence from um, targets from the police or from people within the movement. Oh, I thought we were past this whole making shit up section of the video. Um, and people don't really sort of consider this as an issue of protest, um, where it kind of it is one that needs to be addressed. No, what needs to be addressed is that nothing you've said can be demonstrated to be true. I mean. If you care about that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, right. Women in protests that are specifically feminist um, sort of tend to get othered and to be shown as, you know, sort of not like these most women. You think that might have anything to do with the fact that you're not like most women? I mean, I know a few women and none of them think that every aspect of life is designed to hold them down. Women. Um, they're different, they're seen as sort of manly or scary or um, over the top or irrelevant even. Yeah, that last one fits perfectly. Um, called things like feminazis and all sorts of awful things. I think the sort of the treatment and sort of the disregarding of um, women who take part in protests. That is something that only happens inside your head. Um, is sort of all due to the fact that um, anger and protest and violence is all sort of seen as these very masculine traits. I'll give you violence as seen as a male trait because, again, having more muscles, their violence is going to be more effective. As far as anger and protest, you know, saying, I don't like this, I don't know a place in the world where these are exclusively considered male traits. And women's anger is pathologized. We've seen this throughout history. Um, for example, the phenomenon that was hysteria, which um, suggested that um, women's wounds were making them um, crazy and so people would get hysterectomies in order to cure their madness. Ah, ah, what? what does that have to do with what you just said? Um, 
and you know to this very day where people will dismiss a woman for being angry um and just say oh she's just wrong time of the month she's just on a period and it's one of the most frustrating things anyone can say is it that time of the month for you um and i think one of the key challenges given to members of all liberation movements um is to reclaim this right to anger how do you take a right to an emotion can you please enlighten me um i think that women are sort of seen as naturally more passive um and weak but if we look at protests that have been going on all over the world women have been at the forefront fucking shit up okay i have no clue what protests you're talking about because all the links in your video are to you and your friends but maybe you can answer this question. What is fucking shit up actually accomplishing? Um, I think we need to really tackle um, how women's anger is viewed. So you want to control how other people interpret your actions? Um, because when women are angry, women are powerful. I don't know why you hate reality so bad, but nobody's emotions have ever led to power. Sparky Fist around.